Hey everyone, it is Leslie here with Hammer and Stay North Shore. If you are watching this video, then that means you are following the directions that I put in your Hammer at Home kits because step number one is to watch this video. So welcome and thanks for joining us for a Hammer at Home take and make. So I'm gonna quickly run through the steps live so you can see them um, as you make this at home. You can follow along to this video or follow along to your instructions, but it's good to just see it in person um, even though it's over video. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take whatever wood project we ordered and we're gonna take our sanding block and we're just gonna sand down the edges of the project and the front of it a little so that we get all the rough edges nice and smooth. You'll wanna do it longer than I just did, but that's just an example. Then we're gonna take our orange sponge and we're gonna dip it into the stain color that we chose. So I'm doing this one white and I'm just going to kind of, I would say brush it on, but this is a sponge. So we're gonna sponge on that stain color. You wanna make sure that you get the front or the top of your piece of wood as well as the sides of it. So you're just gonna do that. Okay, so moving on to the next step. So you've stained your entire piece of wood and you wanna make sure it's completely dry before you move on to the next step. You can either set it aside for five or 10 minutes and come back to it, or you can use a hair dryer to help speed up the process. But once it's completely dry, you're gonna take your sander again and just lightly sand the top of it. We just wanna make sure it's nice and smooth for when we put our stencil on it. So again, lightly sanding it. And once it's sanded, we're gonna take our stencil and we're gonna apply our stencil. So you wanna place the blue side down so that this white grid part is facing you. And you're gonna peel the white grid from the blue. So it's gonna look like this. Start at one corner and start peeling back. So see how the blue sticky is looking at me? If you see white, you're not peeling the right thing. You wanna peel the, the grid white um, backing from the blue. You're gonna go nice and slow, just in case some of the blue comes up, you're gonna press it back down and you're gonna keep going. Just like this. So right now, some of that blue is coming up on my white, so I'm just gonna press it back down and then I'm gonna keep going. Once you have it totally off, now this is your sticky side and you're gonna place it on your piece of wood. So you're gonna place it down and you can either press it down really hard with your hand or take something with a flat edge and really press it on there because you wanna make sure that your stencil is securely on. Once it's securely on, we're going to start peeling this white tape layer back to expose the blue stencil. Again, you can go nice and slow so that um, none of the blue comes up on this white tape layer and it all stays down on your board. So there you go. That's what it looks like once you have your stencil on. Everywhere that you see blue is going to be protected and gonna stay the background color. Everywhere that you see white right now is what we're gonna paint in. So you're gonna take one of your um, white sponges and you're gonna dip it into the paint color of your choice. You wanna dab it off because you don't want a lot of paint on here. Less is more, especially in the beginning, if you don't want it to bleed or seep through the stencil. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna start dabbing all the areas that I wanna fill in black, which is gonna be my happy. So you're gonna start nice and light and with your first coat and you can always go back over it a second time. When you're ready for a new color, you're gonna dip a new white sponge in to the color, dab it off so you don't have a lot of paint on there and start dabbing away where you want that color to be, which I chose to do an orange bee. Dab, 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 dab. I'm gonna leave the antennas to be black. So it's okay if you go outside the line here because your blue stencil is going to be protecting your background color. I'm gonna put a little black on the antennas, just like that. And I'm gonna let this first coat dry for about a minute. 
Okay, so once your first layer has dried, you can go over again with a second layer to really fill it in. So I've done that already with the black and I'm gonna do it with the orange again. So this second layer is really filling it in, making sure that you've got everywhere you want covered. Again, you still don't add a lot of paint to your sponge. You still wanna go kind of on the lighter side. It usually takes two or three coats to get it exactly how you want it to be. So be a little patient. So we're just gonna fill this in here. And I'm almost done. Okay. So now all of my paint is, um, or all my stencil is covered with paint. We're gonna let this dry for a minute or two because I've decided to add on a little of the gold sparkle as an add-on. That is something that you could have done when you ordered. So if you added on a gold sparkle or a shimmer sparkle, you want your paint to be completely dry before you apply it. Okay, so I am going to apply some of this um, gold sparkle. It dries clear, but has some gold sparkle in it onto my bumblebee to give it a little, you know, just a little sparkle for the bee. And you just want to make sure that that paint, that first layer, second layer of paint that you are going over with your sparkle is nice and dry. Okay, so I've put it on my bee, put it on the little antlers too, get it all over. And now I'm gonna wait for it to dry. So if you didn't do the sparkle, that's totally fine. You're gonna want to let your paint dry for approximately like five minutes, I would say. And then it's time to take off our stencil. Your paint wants to be almost all the way dry, if not all the way dry, before you peel the stencil off so that you don't um, have any oopsies moments. Okay, so when it's all dry, you wanna find an edge and start peeling away the stencil just like this. It's okay if the stencil breaks a little. Um, just keep going, you're gonna keep peeling it off. If you need to get any little parts, you can grab a tweezer and that will help you get any of the little parts in between the letters. Let me see here. So check all the letters. If something looks funky to you or doesn't look right, it's probably because there's still stencil left in between in stock. So as you can see, I just peeled out all of the happy. Now I'm gonna peel out the wings. You can either use your nail or like I said, go and grab a set of tweezers. And we're just gonna peel all of this out. And it is gonna reveal our design. All right, almost there. There we go. There's my be happy sign. So hope that you guys had fun making this craft. And if you want to share it on Facebook or Instagram, your final project or where it is in your home, your house, your bedroom, anywhere, snap a picture of it and make sure to tag Cameron Stay North Shore. And thanks again for um, purchasing one of our Hammer at Home kits. Bye.